25 weeks pregnant in less than four months we'll have a baby here <laughs> the pains of pregnancy on my back this week i've had so many thoughts over pregnancy we're seeing some friends today but also kind of to put my brain in kind of pause mode that i can talk about things with kind of a neutral party other than being pregnant i need to be aware of how anxious and stressed i've been feeling and it's quite scary and i'm trying to really savor every moment rare beauty lip oils because i've been obsessed with them everything and anything gets to me which is why i love going to therapy so preparation has been mostly mental hormone tiredness the anxiety of what's to come and the unknown but honestly i don't know Good morning, welcome to a new vlog. Today I have a therapy appointment that I need to leave for in a few minutes, so I'm gonna make it quick. This week I'm 25 weeks pregnant, which is so crazy. I'm having a hard time kind of understanding the fact that in less than four months, we'll have a baby here that seems so weird like a lot of people say that the second trimester goes by super quickly which i totally agree but it's quite wild and yesterday i had a another um ultrasound for the second trimester because last time baby's position was not the best they were head down and right under my belly button which meant that there were areas like she couldn't really check properly like she had to take several images she could see from one side to the other but she needed to see the whole thing and so we had scheduled another ultrasound three weeks after which was yesterday it was so nice it was just so great because we knew everything was okay i feel baby moves so much that i am reassured on the daily that they're doing great so yesterday was really a lot more fun than the previous one when you're just like a bit more nervous that something won't be okay i'm very happy about that it's also a beautiful beautiful day today which is so freaking nice so i'm going to take you along on a few days being 25 weeks pregnant also have my nail appointment this afternoon which i'm very excited for they are so overgrown my goodness i'm pretty sure like my nails always been pretty long like quite easily like they grow super easily but being pregnant it's another story so i'm excited to get something a bit different I'm also wearing one of my favorite dresses first of all it's super large like honestly it's a bit too long in here because i'm a shorty i'm like 5'1 so it's all always been pretty big on me but so comfortable and now being pregnant i am appreciating very much the fact that belly can grow <laughs> even more and i'll be fine in this dress also it's green my favorite color i love the pattern of it I woke up last night, well this morning, with the worst leg cramp and I knew it was like a second trimester symptom but I never had one. It was horrible. I had to text my partner because I was panicking in bed. It was so bad I couldn't move. He helped me stretch. It was like the top of my calf and now I'm so scared. Like it's a bit painful still but it's fine. But now I'm so scared that it's gonna happen again, especially during the night. back from therapy well i've been back for two or three hours i've been doing some laundry doing some work i ate lunch i just feel not as tired as i usually do after a therapy session even though it was really needed and i felt the need to journal after just to kind of put everything down on i was gonna say on paper but i typed it on my computer but still i always get like that feeling that my brain is activated and i think it's also kind of due to the fact that she gives me key things to do letting go of control or thinking about situation another way and it's as if like my brain kind of is working towards doing that thing differently and so journaling really helps after a session just to put everything down like what we talked about what she said but also kind of to put my brain in kind of pause mode and just be like that's what you need to do that's what you're already doing but just take a breath i also really appreciate the fact that i can talk about things with kind of a neutral party someone who's completely out of the situation and also someone who knows me so well because i've been seeing 
dating her for two and a half years so i know that whatever i say or however i describe a situation she totally understands my point of view my perspective i can trust like how she is going to respond to that and i really really cherish that and i feel kind of safe you know it's the point of it but i do feel safe going to therapy knowing that my point of view will be understood and that whatever she says she comes from a neutral point of view and is a neutral party and is saying things for my own good and my benefit you know it's pretty reassuring not gonna lie i am going to do a bit more work i've been working in the living room as you can tell i love the light here i really love it and i've been so productive working from here so i love that and then i do have an appointment for my nails in a few hours so i'm going to try to do as much work as possible before that i'm excited but i'm also not sure exactly what i'm gonna do i think i want to go for something like a very light lavender purple color but at the same time i'm like i usually go for kind of neutral colors because it goes with everything and i like things like spring appropriate like season appropriate am i gonna get tired of like a color on my nail but at the same time i'm going to stop getting my nails done in a few months before baby comes because it's gel like i don't know how you exactly call it it's gel in france basically it's like my natural nails but yeah gel nails so i can't do it at home still getting my nails done that would mean like every three four weeks i would need to go there and with a newborn and everything i don't really want to have to think about it make the time for it and get the anxiety of like planning the feedings and the naps and whatever so i'm just gonna give my nails a break and i'll go back to it whenever it feels like the right time So much later in the day than I was expecting. I started to film over lunch. My battery died. How rude. Then I was just working so much whilst my battery was charging and I was like, my goodness Gabby, you totally forgot to film anything. I've been doing so much. I've been prepping a few stuff for this weekend because we're going to see our parents and I wanted to get all of my work done on my big computer so that if I have something to do, I'll do it on my laptop. And it's been quite crazy. And also I am knackered today the thing is i did my blood test this morning and those always kind of wipe me out especially today i had a lot of <laughs> things to get checked so they took quite a few vials i'm sorry if that's disgusting for you because it is for me i still managed to come home i had breakfast at that time of course and then i cleaned the apartment for a bit and then i did some work made some lunch delicious salad as usual and then more work and now i'm like i have a few seconds i'll just update you this week i've had so many thoughts over pregnancy especially i'm 25 weeks and um it feels really strange i kept thinking about the 25th week for some reason by that point my stomach will be super round i'll feel baby so much more and i had all of these kind of you know like thinking forward about a specific time and now this is it and my stomach definitely is rounder i feel baby kick so much i can feel baby move like right now <laughs> all the time but very like strongly i can't ignore it there's no way i can't not feel it i feel like it's 
gone by so quickly and it's quite scary and I'm trying to really savor every moment but it's really difficult and also we didn't really know if we were going to kind of have to move before a baby comes and probably not so we're kind of thinking about like how we're going to organize everything we haven't really bought anything for that reason so preparation has been mostly mental and I'm kind of starting to feel like the nesting mode kind of creep in and I'm like how are we going to fit baby's stuff in this apartment I have no idea we're thinking about having to get rid of this bed to put some, like a chest of drawers and um, the changing table over here but then it means that if someone comes to help we won't have room for that person they'll have to sleep on the couch it's not really practical so I'm thinking like what if I get rid of my desk and I just keep working on the dinner table and we'll have a bit more room here we're not sure but at the same time if someone is sleeping here it means that in the middle of the night we can't come here to change the baby we could do it on our bed to be honest but you know like practicality is starting to freak me out a bit and yeah we're just thinking about a few of those things and I'm like I'm 25 weeks I have 16 week stops which is not that much when you think about it I'm very much aware of the time passing but it's okay we're fine totally fine also I'm wearing my mother's dress like the dress she had when she was young and I had it last summer as well I kind of stole it from her to be honest because she doesn't really wear it now and it's so crazy because now I am wearing it and you can definitely see my belly <laughs> I'm going to try to get you a better shot it's so comfortable this is a bit more stretched because it's supposed to be a bit tighter over here but actually it's really comfortable but also like you can definitely see the bump bump is bumping today especially which I love to be honest Good morning, I am at my parents, I just got ready. We're going to leave to do some shopping for a baby. Some of our friends had a baby girl and we've seen them before but we wanted to buy something special because we're seeing them tomorrow as well. And after that my partner is taking me to my osteopath appointment because the pains, <laughs> the pains of pregnancy on my back have been quite something. And then I'll come back and <laughs> I think I'll chill for the rest of the day. But it's quite a gloomy day so we'll see how how it goes Like I said yesterday, we're seeing some friends today. We're having lunch together. We're leaving just a bit early so that we can buy a few things. I'm wearing this dress, which I got up vintage. I'll show you after. I got it at an XL to make sure that it would fit my bump, but it's actually pretty big. So I've had to do like a little thing cinched in. I don't know if it's working or not, but I love the pattern. I love the color. It really matches my nails as well. So we're just gonna go with it. I'm gonna do like a super easy makeup what I usually do and I'll use one of the rare beauty lip oils because I've been obsessed with them like they're just so good I love the fact that it leaves a tint I don't really mind like kind of the staying power because first of all I think you can reapply how many times you want it still looks good but also the tint is just so so nice because it looks super natural but at the same time it definitely looks better than your lips <laughs> I don't know I was so glad yesterday afternoon because after the osteopath I I always feel super tired. I haven't slept properly in a long time and, and I haven't really been able to take naps, which is not the best when you are so tired all the time, especially like I want to do so much 
I have very little energy some days. Yesterday after the session, I felt exhausted. And so I just stayed on the couch and my dad made some lunch. And after that, I just went upstairs and I could feel that I was already super duper tired. And I just slept for an hour and a half. And that was just glorious because I could tell I really needed it. And it was a really, really good nap. It was like a full on cycle. I felt so much better. And after in the evening, I was like, maybe I'm going to have trouble going to sleep tonight because I am not super tired but it was fun if you can tell that I'm feeling a little bit down we're dealing with a little bit of a family situation you know it's a bummer and so yeah I've been having a hard time being good so I've been really trying to not let it get to me too much I know that being pregnant I need to be aware of how anxious and stressed I've been feeling because I know that baby can feel it and I definitely don't want baby to you know feel overwhelmed however they may feel I don't know the extent of it but I'm aware of that <laughs> basically so I've been really trying to kind of compartmentalize I guess you could say and not let everything and anything get to me which is why i love going to therapy because i do definitely can feel a difference in how i feel after because she helps me make sense of things know how to deal with them and especially being pregnant i feel like it's even harder to know where you stand on things because hormone tiredness the anxiety of what's to come and the unknown and so when life throws you curveballs it's really nice to have a support person like i said like someone super neutral professionally trained to help deal with all of, all of that okay do i go for these ones or these i feel like these ones maybe the hair definitely looks better like this so what i've been doing for the lip oils i'm going to use hope this time because i feel like it's the perfect shade for that like it's more natural i've tried to move you for a better light but it's not happening what i do is that i apply a first coat i let it sit for a few seconds and then i remove some of it so that i just have kind of the tint and i apply another coat and I've been doing this especially with Hope because it's quite a light shade on my lips. It kind of looks like my lips, but the tint is a bit darker. So when I just put on the lip oil by itself, it doesn't necessarily look like I have something on. So if I do that and I already have a little bit of a tint and then I reapply it on, it looks great. I'm gonna bring that in my bag. So that's the dress. I like the length of it. It's just like, it's a bit too large. And so I've added this belt just so that I can cinch it in because the waist doesn't fall at the right place. I feel like it looks better if I do this, but honestly, I don't know. The makeup, something super simple. And I feel like pink looks really good with this. So that's that. We're back from seeing our friends it was so 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 nice but i am knackered like i'm so tired <laughs> baby was kicking like crazy yesterday evening so i went to bed pretty late so i'm going to go take my shower and i'm going to going to eat some dinner my dad had some of my family over so he made stuff on the barbecue so i think i have leftovers which i'm very happy about i'm just gonna chill for the rest of the evening that was such a good day i also took some pictures outside the light was perfect and my favorite thing to do is to take photos with the sun. 